Hey, let's go in and get a beer. We'll finish this sign later. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm your boogie woogie doctor, checking out your rock and roll. Yes, I'm your boogie woogie doctor, I'll make you feel good. Got any money? Let's leave. Let's go. No, hey, 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 on. wait, hey, wait a minute. Hey, let's have some it. more music. Some more music on that loud song. Listen, it's Jesus only God. ten. I learned what you did. Get off my stage. Assemblage? Hey, Leon. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. What in the world happened to you? I tell you, last night there were these two guys beating up this old boy, and I went in there and it stopped him. 
My goodness. Are you all right? I'm fine, Miss Emily. Is Joe around? No, Joe's not here. Him and Tommy went off somewhere in the pickup truck. Oh, Lord. Well, they ought to be back any time now. Come on in, Leon, have a cup of coffee. And now that sounds good. You look terrible. Put out that cigar, Leon. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Miss Emily, I got some news for you. I heard from them people in Nashville this morning. Yeah. And they love Joe's songs. And they want to cut four sides on them. And then they want him to tour with Fair and Young for three months. My <laughs> word. <laughs> when will he be leaving? Well, we're supposed to leave tomorrow morning. They already got a session set up. Joe's gonna be so happy. Oh, he's gonna go nuts. Tommy's gonna just die. That's him. That poor little fella is just gonna die. <laughs> what are you grinning at? <laughs> I got some news for you, Joseph. Did you hear from him? What's that look like? If you lying, I'll black that other eye. <laughs> hey, this ain't none of your business, squirt. Who's going next to you? I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> and bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. Amen. John, I think Leon's got something to tell you. Or do I ever? Now, well, John, looks like you got your boy here a record deal. Is this another one of your hair-brained ideas, Leon? Oh, no, this is for real. Uh, they want him to be the opening act for Fair and Young. And you heard of him, ain't you? Yeah, I've heard of him. But who's the they you keep talking about? That's the book of ages in Nashville. Nashville? Yes, sir. Still Nashville's a long way from home. Yes, sir, but it means a lot of money for Joe here. Just what you want to do, boy? More than anything in the world. When do you have to leave? I'll leave it tomorrow morning. Excuse me. Help out out here. They need you. I don't want to stay here without you, Joe. Now, talking like I'm going away forever. I'm just going up the road, peace. Be back here all the time. I'm gonna make some music, make some money. Get one of us college. I think that's gonna be you, little brother, because I'm too dumb. <laughs> hmm? Good luck, Joe. Daddy? You be a good boy now. You knock him dead, you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, and uh, just what are you doing here? More contracts. Work, 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 work. 
You know, sometimes I feel like a side of beef that you two just book all over the country. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Joe, I got you booked on Jack's show. Fine. This afternoon. This afternoon? Leon, I just got here. I'm tired. No, oh, hell, it ain't gonna amount to nothing. Leon, I have been on an airplane. I've been on buses and in the hotels and out of hotels for the last three weeks. And I haven't had four hours sleep in the last two nights. Give me a break. Now look, Joe, all the promotion men are in town. I don't care about promotion Now, the men. president of the label's in town, Joe. This is the perfect time to plug that new album and that 25th anniversary show we're doing tomorrow. You're not listening to me, Lil. I'm listening to you. Well, I'm tired and I want to go home. Now look, Joe, hey, you can do this show standing on your head, son. Hey, wait a minute, Larry. Let me let me help you with them back. Just put a little makeup under them eyes. Put a little makeup perfect. under them eyes. And my manager. Now, speaking of manager, you made all the arrangements for Leon's party. Yeah, I took care of it. A lot of food. A lot of food. Lots of booze. Lots of booze. And you didn't tell Larry anything, did you? No. Because first thing he'll do is he'll go tell Leon, then I got no surprise. Joe, you're a pain. Just how much of this is tired, and how much of it's in the box? Well, he's had a drink or two, but he's wore out, Leon. He's been working like a dog. Look, this interview is real important to me. Now, when we get to that TV station, I want him happy, I want him up, I want him laughing and scratching. You got me? Leon, look, we used everything we took with us. I had to get some more stuff while we were gone. Why don't you buy that stuff on the road? Well, these people were all right, but you owe me $475. $470? You got a receipt? A receipt? What, are you crazy or something? These people don't even use names. Get them. Jacking it up? It's not there. It's a Jacob's ladder. Come over here and look at the thing. It's happened again. Did you get on tape? Yeah, it looks real good, except for the driving. Except for the driving. It's cute. Hey, I'd like to uh, go buy me a beer. Yeah. Don't you mind? <laughs> Leon, I need a little time off, a little rest. Well, why don't we start by canceling those 13 new contracts that you just don't. Honey, we can't afford to be canceling dates. We got 25 families to feed here. Here you go, son. Pop these in your mouth. Go ahead. Get us the TV station, honey. You're telling me that this guy walked up to you cold turkey on the street and just offered you a movie contract? Just like that? He sure did, except he was a liar because he didn't have no motion picture studio and all he wanted to do was get me alone in his house. And do you want to know why? No, 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 no. Spare us the details. Good story, but hold that back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is an outstanding figure in the world of country music. And let's make you welcome Mr. Joe Street Talking Hawkins. Hey, Joe. Buddy. Hello, how are you doing, Jack? Good to see you. Yeah. I would like you to introduce me to your friend. Why, certainly. Uh, Joe, say hello to Candy, Candy Joe. You have to watch the movie, Moe. That's right. <laughs> Oh, well, it's just, just an ashtray. I get it. Don't worry about it. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. 
Okay. okay, listen, let's talk about you Joe. Joe. I'd Joe. love to. Hey, Joe. Why, uh, you were teasing me. Joe, let's, let's talk about your anniversary here. You know, I've made this business 25 years on it without being able to read one note of music. Not the first damn note of music. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Keep playing me. Live TV show here, and I need this gig. Live TV? <laughs> Don't be telling people how this is live TV. I explain all these plastic leaves. And well, the... it's it's almost live. Okay. A big show in Nashville recognizing Joe and his 25th anniversary, and I think that's going to be great. Wow. Yeah, we Come better on. get this job. Nice you saw the house. You, uh, you know how it is. You saw that. Now, go in and set up tape for me, would you? Daddy! Hey! How you doing, short stuff? Hey, Joe. 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 Hey,
Excuse me. Hey, bud. You go out of the time. About 640. <laughs> Are you okay? You got a dime? Oh, oh, you, why do you want a dime? I want to call my old friend. I got to go home. Is that all you need is a ride home? I need to go home. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you home. You're going to take me I home. got a chauffeur and I'll take you, you home. You good buddy. Let's go. Larry, you stay with the car. If he shows up, grab him. Honey, Joe disappeared again. You go look on that side of the street for him. You look on that side, I'll look over here. Where's that driver at? I don't know. Get in. You know I like you. Get in the car, I'm gonna take you home. I'm gonna go home. That's right. Get your, watch your feet. Get your feet in here. That's good. I can drive this thing myself. You gonna take me home? I'm gonna take you home. Straight up the street. Oh, boy, we are going home. That's right, friend, I'm taking you home. Joe, what are you doing? All right. Well, I'm taking hey, this fellow home. But you hadn't ought to be driving this car now. You hadn't ought to be driving this car. Let well, me get I'm, you up here. I'm driving because... Take a lamp. A lamp right up here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Joe, let me drive. Maybe you're right. Yeah, just scoot over here and I'll let me I'll get over there. You just scoot over here. Let him drive. 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 We're going to take you home. Move your right oh, you just... Get your leg off. Get it off. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 Mr. Redden, look at that window. The wall is completely ripped. I've got to replace that. The furniture is destroyed. Now, what am I going to do? You got to lie. I want to go home. Now I can't stop the motion of a big and a mighty ocean. Can't take the blue or the high from the sky. But I can love you. That would be so easy. Johnny Cash, but I can love you, that would be so easy, cause I want to, there's a whole lot of things that I can do, I can spend my whole life loving you, but well, baby I want to, I just want to love you girl, make you my only world. Baby, don't you? How long does it take to make a television show? My back is killing me. We've been here since 5.30 this morning. If I'd known it's going to take this long, I'd charge you by the hour. I'd have owned you. <laughs> Mr. Red, Joe's had a copy of this script for over a month and a half. He ain't got the dialogue right yet. The only thing he's got right are his songs. Thank you. 
some things I can't do, baby. Let me tell you some things that I can. I can look you in the eye and I won't say a lie when I say I can be your man and I can make you happy. That would be so easy. Cause I want to. There's a whole lot of things that I can do. I can spend my whole life loving you. Sorry, nobody's allowed backstage. I was just uh, looking for Joe Hawkins. Don't you kind of want to? I'm Tom Hawkins, Joe's brother. You're Tom? Mm -hmm. Well, come on in. <laughs> Listen, it's nice to meet you. I'm uh, Nancy Kay. I'm Joe's agent. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Well, it wasn't all bad. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Joe didn't mention that you were going to be here. No, well, I, I just uh, wanted to surprise him. Good. I know he'll be glad to see you. How's the show going? Fine. A little slow. Kind of like pulling teeth. A little bit. <clears throat> well, mm. How those last two numbers sound? They there? sounded great. Sounded real good. Wonderful. I wish I felt wonderful. Excuse me. Tommy! <laughs> my little baby brother. Do you mean my brother? I meant your little baby brother. He got all the looks and I got the guitar. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, Sandy. Did you bring Sandy? No, she had a babysitter for the kids. Oh. Jennifer. How old is Jennifer now? She's six. Six? Amy's nine. Nine years old. Looks a lot like you. <laughs> like Uncle Joe. Hmm? <laughs> celebration. This calls for celebration. Joe, it's time for your closing number. Joe, are you, uh, you okay? Oh, look at me. I'm fine. I've got to go close the show, okay? Nancy, come here. Mm -hmm. You keep an eye on this dude. This is my baby brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when I get finished, we're going to celebrate. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Oh. <clears throat> Tommy. Joe. 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 Now, security. security. He's drinking security. Too much. Get, get everybody back. Give him some air. Come Put on. That stuff to him. Everybody stand back. Joe. Is that what you want, Leon? Can you stand up? What you really want? Look at him! Now, if you want to kill him, why don't you put a gun to his head? It's quicker. What are we going to do now? Uh, uh, you're you're going to go out there and, and, and you're, you're going to tell all them people that... Uh, uh, that he passed out uh, fr from exhaustion. They're gonna love it, Raymond. Go on. Larry, come on, get him on his feet. What? Yeah, you know, what about the doctor? Larry. Don't worry about the doctor. He just had too much to drink. That's all. Go on. Right, get, get him up. Get him home. He's got a big day tomorrow. Well, come on, let's, 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 get, let's get him up. Come on. Okay. Now, be careful. Speak him up. Hey, help him up. Help him up. Help him up. What you've got to do is stop spending money without account. Sometimes I miss the old days. 
Back then, you could make money and spend money and not have to worry about the damn IRS. Now you got back taxes, front taxes, tax taxes. It ain't fun anymore. Leon, you know how much easier this would Excuse be. Excuse me a minute. Uh, hi, ladies. How y'all doing? Fine. Have you tried our sawmill gravy and biscuits? Mm -hmm. Y'all go in there and try some. You'll like it. Let me know how you like it. Now, uh, what would you say? <clears throat> uh, about how much easier this would be if you'd buy a computer. Now, I don't believe in machines. I believe in people. You can't fire a machine. Oh, looky here. I just love little baby. Come on, let's get out of here. Chipper, how many vocals am I going to have to redo? Most of them. Most of them? Dr. Larry. Yeah, I'm right here. I guess I'm gonna need a little help. I know what you mean. Chipper, if we're gonna have to do all the vocals, I'm gonna wait and put the guitars on another time, okay? What are you giving him? Vitamins, honey. Vitamins. Vitamins. Well, you know, and get ready to be here a while, Larry. Lord have mercy. That brother of his done made the front page again. Did you see that stunt he pulled out the ice cream parlor? Oh, oh, oh no. Hey, and I heard on the news last night that he collapsed from exhaustion on the stage. <laughs> I don't know what kind of exhaust. That's 80 proof exhaust. <laughs> uh, what was talking? Yes, I have searched down through the depths of my soul And no one else has ever made me feel Love so real You made my life whole So darling, take this heart of mine Keep it with you through all of time Love is truly, truly God's design And you, you brought me love Coming up right on the tag You brought me love Chipper, what do you think? Now, that sounds like Joe Hawkins. Well, okay. What do I do next? Well, let's do December Wind. It's up next. My side ready. Yeah, just a minute. Tom here. Tom, this is Nancy Kay. I'm Joe's agent. I need to talk to you about Joe. What happened? They have got him so filled up with drugs and with booze that he doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know what he's doing. Well, why don't you, why don't you uh, tell Leon? Tom, Leon makes a lot of money off of Joe by pushing him and by pushing him and pushing him and pushing him until he, he can't work anymore. Then he... He gives him some pill to make him forget how tired he is. And then he pushes him some more. Why didn't Joe take a vacation? He's booked solid for months. He finishes the album tomorrow. Then he goes back on the road for more concerts. I can't take much more of this. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, no, I... I want you to, uh... Keep in touch. I will. Thanks. I hate to face my woman, see the hurt in her eyes. Green 
me. That's a sucker bet, but I'll take your money. Like that. No, you're going to take hey, this. Hey, 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 is this what I pay you guys to do? Huh? Wait a minute, huh? Is Jay still on parole? Yes, sir. Hey, Jay. Hey, man, I'm history. I'm gone. No, 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 no. I just want to talk to you. Come on. Come on. I just want to... We could talk in the office. Tell me something. When you bring somebody to the hospital who all screwed up on drugs, what 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 do they do to them? Give them some shots. And that cures them? <laughs> no, not usually. Usually they back out on the streets the next day doing the same thing. But but you get enough of them to make you feel okay. Probably. You got a problem? No, no, it's not me. I need to get some of that stuff now. Uh, where can I buy it? Hey, man, you can't buy it. They don't let it out on the streets. I need some bad, Jay. Hey, no way. Could you get me something in the hospital? <laughs> I could if I was a doctor. But I ain't no doctor. Could you steal me some? Man, are you crazy? Hey, do you know what they do to me if they caught me stealing that stuff? They throw my ass in jail. So will your parole officer when I tell him you've been making book all over town? Oh, man. Hey, look, what did I ever do to you? Hey, you're talking about stealing some heavy shit. I need this stuff, and you're the only person I know that can help me get it. Hey, man, give me a break, will you? Look, I want to help you, but I can't. <sighs> okay. Oh, uh, you like to watch TV? Oh, well, yeah. Well, uh, fix me to watch one of my favorite programs. You, you mind? No, go right ahead. Yeah, it's called uh, Big J. I need it in 24 hours. Will it be when you don't have an easy choice? What will it be when you hear your brother's voice cry out for you? Do you turn away? Is the price too much to pay? Or do brothers always stay? See it through. It's up to you. What will it be? making funny noises. Say anything you want, but make sure you tell them the ambulance is being repaired. Hey, but that wasn't a part of the deal. Give us some gas. You want to blow the engine? Blow the engine? The one that tuned it up. It didn't need no tuning up. You know something? If I'd have known that you was going to start complaining, I would have never even let you drive. In fact, I wouldn't even have brought you along. Look, man, don't you understand I'm responsible for this thing? Just hurry it up, would you? What's the hurry? Well, you're right. I'm going to have to explain it to you sometime anyway. Forget it. I don't want to know. I'm going to have to tell you. Don't tell me nothing. Well, I'm... You see... What? Ah! Don't tell me nothing. I don't want to do this anymore, Chester. I'm tired of it. I got better things to do. 
two better things. Leon, we've still got the last 15 months to work on, then. If they do an audit... An audit? Can... Wait, what are you talking about, an audit? I thought you said you could fix the IRS. No problemo. $40,000 and my man loses your file. $40,000? That's a lot of cash. Yes, but it's a lot less than the $800,000 you owe in back taxes. Will you boy take uh, treasury notes? What treasury notes, Leon? Have enough to do with these. Bits. What is this? Leon, you got to have over a million dollars worth here. No, no, no. It's not going to do. We're going to have to list these as assets. No, wait a minute, Chester. I'm not exactly uh, supposed to have those. Leon, are these hot? I paid ten cents on the dollar for those things. I'll let your boy have it for, um, twenty cents. <laughs> Leon, my boy only deals in cash. These things have got serial numbers on them. And you've got the money in the safe, Leon. Chester, I'm a trader. It's what I do. I buy things and I sell things. Just see if your boy will go for it. If he won't, then I'll get into that rainy day money. What is it, Larry? Uh, Leon, Joe told me to come over here and get you and take you over to the studio right now. Tell him I'll see him tomorrow. No, 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 no. He said right now. He said it was urgent. <sighs> All right. What's this black bag for? Shh. What? It's okay. I don't want to know. Did you see that blonde that I was wearing? Hey, John, you know that well, I've been working on that for six months. Did you see that Iranian caviar I bought? And that champagne? Well, them fish eggs are going to be stinking. That champagne's going to be flat. Now, this better be good, Larry. And furthermore, now, I want you to tell Joe that I'm going to need some notice. It's dark in here. <laughs> You're not surprised, are you, Leon? No <laughs> surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, as you know, we just celebrated my 25 years in show business. Now, this little party is my way of saying thanks. For 25 years, we're one of the greatest managers in show business, Mr. <laughs> Leon Redden. And I've saved this very special surprise just for you. With my own money. <laughs> There's more. Joe, you thought of everything. I try hard. Young lady. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. <laughs> Everybody, fall. Man, 
right back here. Well, tie him down. Me and the boys will fix it again. Trust me. First, Leon, this is the chief of police, and listen, you better talk to this man, because he is hot. Harry, I can't talk to him right now. Tell him I'm not here. No, wait, 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 wait. Tell him, uh, tell him it was a promotional stunt. Tell him, uh, that uh, Joe's new album is going to be called, uh, 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 Stolen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you see, this was, it was just a publicity stunt to promote this new record, uh-huh. Because, you see, uh, Joe's new album is going to be called Stolen. Yes, sir, that's what I said, Stolen. Uh-huh. Well, no, I, but I'm sure Mr. Redden would be more than glad to pay for everything. Pay? Yes, sir, I'll tell him. I'll tell him, I will. What'd he say, Larry? He said they busted up a bunch of police cars and that this was the last time and if anything like this ever happens again, somebody's going to jail. Do you know what the hell you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, I called doctor last night and he explained Doctor, to me. my ass. Give me that. I was mainline and skag when I was only 14. Skag? Horse. Horse? Heroin. You a dope addict? Was, baby. Was. Now squeeze me up a vein down there. Go ahead, squeeze it up. I'll take the ambulance back. You stay here. I'll take the ambulance back. You stay here. You can't. 
I've got to go by the garage and leave a note for the guys to repair it. I'll see you in the morning. You ain't coming back till morning. I'm coming with you. Who's going to look after Joe? Huh? Now, I'm telling you, you'd be perfectly safe here. But what if some big hairy creature comes crawling in here out of the woods? There ain't no big hairy creature in these woods. And even if there were, they're not going to come in here. Give me. But what if they do? Lock the door. <laughs> No, sir. You can't allow these things to fester. Hmm. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Right. Now, you watch this, Larry, and you learn something. Right? You watch how a man runs an organization. What do you want? Larry, you wait out here. I said, what do you want? You and me need to talk. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Where's Joe? Get off my property or I'm going to call the police. <laughs> Darling, ain't no point in calling the police unless you want to explain to him why your husband kidnapped Joe. He didn't kidnap Joe. No matter what you say. Police are going to say it's kidnapping. I'm going to ask you two for the last time to get off my property. All right. All right, we'll get off your property. I'll tell you what else I'll do. I'm going to give them 12 hours. Now, if Joe is not standing in my office by noon to... I'm going to have Tom arrested. Way to go, boss. <laughs> ah. Hey, calm down. Relax now. Take it easy. <laughs> Tell me now, how you feeling? Not worth a damn. Thank you. Who are you? I'm Big J. You Big J? Yeah. That's right. Well, Big J, do me a favor. Go get Larry and tell him to come in here. Huh? Help me get my day started. <laughs> You'll know what I mean. I don't know no Larry, but how about a nice cup of coffee to get your day started? I don't want any coffee. I don't want any coffee. I want Larry. I... Oh. oh. About time you got here. I'm gonna be late for work. How's Joe? He's hurting real bad. Can you can you give him another shot? No. Uh, we can only give him that stuff once every 12 hours. Look, Jay. I have to ask you another favor. How about staying up here with me a couple of days and helping me with him? Man, you think I can just move up here? I got alimony payments to three of the meanest women in the world. I'll take care of them. Well, what about my part-time business? I'll buy you a book. Hey, you forget, man. I need my job. I kind of took care of that, too. You kind of took care of that? What the hell does that mean? Well, I told him you had to go to Cleveland because there's someone sick in your family. You've been setting me up all along, ain't you? Now, don't lose it. Well, I'm, don't. Man, I'm going to kill you when I get to... Damn you, Tom! Now, Jay? Jay, keep your cool. Hi, Amanda. Any news? No, nothing yet. Hey, have you got Tom's home phone number? Oh, yeah, I, I think so, somewhere. This Good. thing's a mess. The girl who used to work here filed everything under the first name. Oh, there. Hello, dear. If this man calls, I cannot make the luncheon. Right. <laughs> Who's 
that? Oh, chest or something. Some new accountant Leon hired. Yeah. Weird guy. Gives me the creeps. Why'd Leon hire another accountant? You didn't know? What? He fired Emma. He what? Fired her. Why? He said she was juggling the books. <sighs> yeah. Where is Joe? What time is it? 11.32. Well, I ain't gonna wait any longer. Get Tina and bring the limousine around here. You, fix them books. You, come with me. Mr. Smith, how are you? It's nice to see you. Oh, Mr. Smith, I got a, I got a phone message for you here. There's a young lady, young lady called you, and and uh, it's that's the number I took it right down there. You can read that, can't you? It sounds real urgent. If you call her, I think she'd like to hear from you. Uh, get change for a dollar. What's that? Got change for a dollar. I want to use the phone. Oh, you want to use the phone? Yes, sir. Well, here's a dime. What can I do for you, Mr. Uh... Redden? Redden. Leon Redden. Leon Redden. I need you to find somebody for me. Oh. Who are we looking for? Joe Hawkins. The singer? Right. His brother kidnapped him. I don't know why, and I don't care why. All I know is that every day Joe's gone, I'm losing a potload of money. Now, here's a picture of Tom. That's the brother. Give him his address. And uh, here's Joe. And uh, here's another one, Tom. Uh -huh. You reckon you can find him for me? Oh, sure, we'll find him. I'll put one of my best men on the case. You got people working for you here? Of course. Right behind that door, there's a big staff. Now then, we guarantee our results. If we don't do what you want, you get your money back. That's going to cost you $300 a day. Three days in advance. Plus expenses. How much is that going to be? Three hundred. I'd quit while I was ahead if I was you. Uh, 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 Hamilton, drop everything. I have a new case for you. Now, uh, Mr. Redden, you have come to the right man. Well, Mr. Malone, I'm feeling better already. Oh, that's nice. When I got to the store, I had this message from my wife to uh, call Nancy Kay. Now, that's, uh, that's Joe's agent. So she, she starts asking me all these questions, you know, about, uh, you know, how's Joe doing? Uh, how's he feeling? And so... I told her that uh, he was doing fine and everything, and then she asked me, could she come up and see him? And I told her no. Why? Maybe she can cook, because you sure as hell can't. Another two bucks, I'll change your history grade to a B. Next! Mm 
What do you want, Malone? Can't you see I'm busy? I'd like some information. Well, the Goo Goos won't make it this time, sweets. What can I do for you? Can you tap into the telephone company computer? The one that handles billing? <laughs> Is that all? something. Tommy, just leave me the hell alone. I can't, because I love you and I want to help you. I don't need any damn help. I was doing fine till you showed up the other day. Can't you see the pills and the booze are ruining your life? Quit, quit talking to me about my life. Until you walked in my shoes, Tommy. You don't know what it's like getting on that stage every day. Be funny, Joe. Sing, Joe. Play the guitar, Joe. Write some songs, Joe. Okay, I take a few drinks and I take a few pills, but I need a little help. Can you understand that? Oh, yeah, I can understand that because I have friends of mine in Vietnam who just... Oh, oh wait a minute. I'd look around and they'd be dead because they want pills and booze. Sure, I can understand that. But can you understand that they are using you? Nobody's using me. What about Leon? What about him? Well, they stand you up on the stage and make you take the pills and the booze and you stay on your feet and you don't even know what's going Shut on. Shut up about Leon, Tommy. He's the best friend I've ever had and he's run my business for 25 years. Including the business of getting you through college and putting you in the racing game. That's what Leon has done. I'll tell you what Leon's done, Joe. He's turned you into an alcoholic. Don't say that to me again, Tommy. That's what you are, Joe. Shut up, Tommy! <laughs> Tommy. Is that the way brothers are supposed to act? Forget about what he did in there. He didn't mean nothing by it. He's hurting real bad. It'll pass. I saw so many guys like that. Oh, and it's your own brother. Damn boy, it hurts. Hey, I was just thinking, you know that chick you called from the store the other day? Nancy? Yeah, that's the one. Why don't you invite her up for a couple of days? Might do old Joe some good, having a nice looking babe running around. I'll see what she says. Mm -hmm. Boy, I like them. I don't know. What do you think, Chief? I think you better get your foot off my desk. Here. Malone here. Um, I think the guys are holed up in Luttrell. Where in the hell's that? That's a couple of hundred miles from here. How do you know they're there? The brother's wife made a couple of calls to a little mom and pop grocery store outside of town. Want me to check it out? Well, hell yeah, check it out. I want Joe back here. Well, that'll be another $300 plus expenses. He'll be there in half an hour.
This is my friend Jay. He's been helping me look after Joe. Hi. Hi. So, how is the patient? Well, he ain't having no good time, but I think he's gonna make it. Can I see him? Sure. Right in there. Thanks. Hi, Joe. What are you doing here? Nice to see you, too. What are you doing here? How are you feeling? I feel just like hell. <laughs> I brought you some things from the bus. Well, who asked you to do that? Joe, I'm just trying to help. What? Everybody's trying to help Joe. Joe, I wanted to see you. All right, then look at me. Look at me. Look at what you book all over the United States. How does he look? Not having a drink for three days or four days or has it been a month? Lindsay. Lindsay. Please help me, Nancy. all this time up here with you, trying to get you on your feet, trying to straighten you out, nearly get myself killed. So if you want to go back to that kind of life, you want to go back to the sewer, is that what you want to do? Fine. Can you go right ahead? Because I've had it right up to here with you, big brother. And I'll tell you something else. You can take that fat Leon and stick him right up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, little brother? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> oh. 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 Ain't like it used to be, is it? Give up. Ah! Stop it! Jay, do something! I am. I'm watching it. <laughs> Hey, 
can give up. Yeah, I'm too old for this. Oh, would you two mind telling me just exactly what this is all about? He was taking a truck and leaving to go get some deodorant. Deodorant? Yeah, deodorant. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, this makes me feel good, Tommy. Yeah. You know, the last time we were down in these woods together, we was hunting. You remember that? Yep. What's that been, four years? Hmm? More like six to eight. It's been that long. <clears throat> you know, that's a sin, Tommy. That's a sin. When brothers don't get together any more often than we do. <clears throat> and when we do, it has to be under these conditions, me in the shape I'm in. Slap in my little brother's face. I'm sorry about that, Tommy. I really am. I apologize for your big brother's ego. <laughs> I don't have to apologize to me about anything, Joe. Well... Besides, I got in a few good licks. I've been waiting a long time for that, too. Hey, honey, play that hand for me. I can take it better than you. <coughs> sure. She's got three sixes. Change my shoes. Better change your pants. How long have you been uh, working for Joe? About three years. You like working for him? <laughs> yeah, he's a sweetheart. Most of the time. It's Leon that's the pain. He works Joe too hard. I never did like him even when I was a kid. Never did trust him either. Word around the business is that Leon has built himself an empire off of Joe's name and that Joe is not getting any part of it. You think he has? I don't know. But, um, something's going on. Leon hired some sleazy-looking accountant, and he fired Emma Bigsley. Miss Emma? They said she was juggling the books. No. Not Miss Emma. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Fine. <laughs> Good. Only got two more miles. <laughs> Watch me fly.
And you taught me how to care You showed me took me there and now you're such a part of me I close my eyes and all I see is you forever here with me you brought me love Miss Emma, I sure do appreciate you coming along to help us. Well, honey, you know it was no trouble at all. Oh, it, it's right up over the door. Right, right up there. Well, dear. Ah, got it. Do you know that Leon said that I'd stolen the money from Joe? Well, you know I wouldn't do that now, don't you? Yes, ma'am, I know that's true. Now, you know he keeps those books locked up. I don't know where those keys are. Well, don't worry about that, Miss Emma. I brought something along to take care of that. Good morning, Mr. Redden. Good morning. Larry. Larry, uh, I got a terrible headache. Give me a... Where's your bag? I left it right out there. Well, you idiot. You can't go leaving it laying around like that. What if a cop come up and looked in there? Well, they'd lock you up and bury the key. Now, go out there. Bring it in here. Leave that bag laying around like that. Like I was saying, girls, uh, we uh, are going to do a new album cover, and we're looking for some lovely new faces, and uh, you just name your ills. We got the pills. Broke your duck, but you want a pill anyway? I got some aspirins here. Larry. Huh? What's that lamp doing over there? Just sitting there on the floor. You want me to pick it up? Please. Put it on the desk where it belongs. Sit down and have a drink. Now, I want you to go find Malone and tell him to get them papers and bring them right back here. Well, not, well not, how do you know that Tom's got them? I know he's got them. Who else would want the damn things? Now, go on, get in the car. Why he did so many ideas? I'm glad he understands it because I know perfectly well I don't, but I'll drive out there. Here's another account. Hey, get back. What'd y'all get back? What's all the books? Leon's account file. What? What, what, did, what did you just say? What, what is all this? Leon's account files. Has it crossed your mind you'd get in trouble doing things like this? But before you all get down to shape, I asked you about uh, this $8 million on the Swiss bank account in Leon's name. Did you know that he owns 70% of his publishing company? Did you also know you gave him power of attorney to sign anything, anything at all, and it's legal? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody has my power of attorney. And that's not my signature. Look at that. How's business at your restaurant and your record store and all the other places down by the office? Oh, the ones with your name on them. They do a lot of business. Yeah, they do a lot of business. They use your name. But Leon owns him 100%. I'll say one thing for old Leon. Boy, he sure kept good bank books. 
Here's a uh, here's a bank account on the money that you loaned me. What are you talking about? I never loaned you any money. And what about the $250,000 to design the engine for the car? I gave you that money. Well, if you gave me that money, I want to know why I paid it back at 12% interest. We are going to get him, little brother. Right, listen to me. Just listen to me. We're going to get him, but we're going to do it our way. Leon has been stealing from me. Uh-huh. Well, that means I got one coming, don't it, Bigger? Yeah. I believe you're right. I believe I'm right. Come on. I think we ought to convince him. Wait, I think you're right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> do it. Do whatever they want you to do. Do it. Do what they want. Don't wait. Hurry up and do what he wants. Do what he wants. I knew this was going to be a shitty job. Pretty good, Big Jay. Get me out of here. Now, uh. Get me out of here. Larry? What do you think? Uh, anything. Uh, uh, anything, any, anything you, you want. You know, I... Big time fool! Big time fool! <laughs> That's off of Joe's new album. And I'll guarantee you that within a month, it's gonna be number one with a bullet. I haven't been in the music business for 25 years. Are you but... Pepsi? Uh -huh. Okay. Hello! Leon. Joe's after you. He's coming over there to your office right now. He'll be there in about 20 minutes. I got away. Did you get the paper? No. They caught us. Damn. Leon, listen now. My bag is still there in your office. And if they find out, we are in deep trouble. And hey, I don't want to go to jail. I got to go. I do, Joe. Did I do okay? You done good, son. Can, can, can I go now? Nope.
Come with me, huh? So. Awful lot of money you got there. If I can explain, Joe. Maybe you better do that. <laughs> How come you got it hid in that box, sir? It ain't hid, Joe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You think I stole this money? <laughs> I didn't steal it, Joe. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it ain't my money, but it ain't your money. It's, it's, it's our money. <laughs> we, we're, we're partners, Joe. I'm very glad. Thank you, Joe. You stole the money, Leon. And you know, as well as I know, you could have anything you want. See all this? I'd give all this to you, son. You just asked me for it. <laughs> I never stole from you, Josh. I swear to God. <laughs> well, we're not going to argue about it, are we? No. I mean, yesterday is yesterday, ain't it? Water over the dam. Water, water over the dam. <laughs> Would you like to just forget this ever happened? Maybe. Hmm? That sounds fair to me. Come on, let's go take a walk. Yeah, oh, wait, wait a minute, let me... Let me get our money. Kind of stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I could I could use some fresh air. Yeah. So could I. It's raining. Well, let's drink to that. Oh, that's a good idea, partner. <laughs> Leon, you know, something uh, still kind of bothers me. How was that, Joe? Well, see, my name is all over this complex, and my, uh, my little brother tells me that I don't own a nickel's worth of this. Oh, well, that's, that's a mistake, Joe, see? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, from now on, we're going to split it right down in the middle. Are we? Uh-huh. Fine, let's drink to that. Because that's exactly what we're going to do, Leon. We're going to split it. Down the middle. Thanks, Larry. Why? I... I don't know, Leon. I don't. I don't believe I've ever seen anything quite like that before. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. What are you doing? I don't know you're your kid. Yeah. <laughs> 
Try to explain that to the cops. <laughs> Sorry about your car, Leon. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> it's on a wheel that comes around. And it comes back exactly like you put it down. And like the clock don't stop when you go out of bounds. It just keeps. Coming around, look hard at every day you live. Comes around, comes around. Remember you get back exactly what you give. I've been a long time on this road, is what I found. It's on a wheel. It's on a wheel. Comes around. Instead of wondering where you're going Brother, stop and look at where you are You ain't looking up and dreaming You ain't going very far Cause all 